everybody, welcome to One Remover Gaming. Today, I am playing a game I found on Itch.io. It's called The Final Pin, and I really have no idea what it's about, but there's a raven, and somehow that has something to do with something. So let's go ahead and get into today's game, The Final Pin. Oh, I'm looking behind me. Um, you guys haven't seen this yet, probably. My brand new... My brand new addition to the stream room uh, is an awesome pyramid head that a friend of mine made completely unprompted and for free. Uh, anyway, serial killers are not monsters lurking in the shadows, but human beings living among us, hiding in plain sight. They are the embodiment of our darkest fears and most twisted desires, reminding us that the line between good and evil is often razor thin, just like this sword but it's not razor thin at all but yeah new addition to the stream room pyramid head beautiful beautiful craftsmanship and i love it and it will be here forever or until i until until everything goes away but anyway serial killers they're there they just keep happening oh 1968 good year maybe i don't know it's a year Nothing behind us. Only everything in front of us. Yep, let's just go ahead and close that. Alright, hi! Whoa, check this place out. There's nothing in it. We're either moving in or moving out. You know, many people don't know this about the year 1968. But, um... Excited for your first day? <laughs> Linda! Uh, is this my mother? Couldn't tell you. Yeah, I hope I can make a good first impression. This is not my mother. This is my wife. You'll do great, Dad. Full voice acting too for a game on Itchio. Kind of, kind of badass. I'm a dad and a husband. Good Thanks, buddy. Soon. Thank you, Linda, my wife. What's my kid's name? I didn't look. He's got a tiny ass head on those big old shoulders. Tiny head, big shoulders. Normal adult size head, still kind of broad in the shoulder. Anyway, what I was saying before my family wished me luck, bleh, no, that's very nice of them. Um, as I was saying, most people don't know this because a lot of people were born after 1968, but 1968 was actually just black and white. Like, there was no color yet. It hadn't been invented. Uh, paints just were a long way off. So everything that you see that was in color previous to 1968 was actually, um, the color was added later after they invented it. And if you believe that, I'm sorry for what I've just done to you. I would like to open the drawer. Okay, great, nothing in it. There's the other thing about 68. Uh, people didn't own things. People didn't own things. Everything was black and white and people owned nothing. They had a very large living room with three windows, uh, a couch for the whole family, one, two, three people, and then whenever somebody, only one person came, they could sit in this extra chair. Other than that, it was uh, standing room only. And then you looked at this TV from across the room, and if you couldn't see what was on the picture box from across the room from here, that just meant that you were a communist or whatever. I don't know. Anyway, we gotta go. It's our first day for whatever. We gotta go figure it out. There's a serial killer. Maybe we're the serial killer. Who can tell? It's all a mystery right now. It's 1968. No one knew what was going on. It's been a month. We walked out the door, and then we never came back for a month. We're a cop. Okay. Yes. Awesome. Wow, this game is actually pretty fleshed out for, for Itch.io game. Uh, this is us going fast mode, just so everybody knows. This is slow mode. This is fast mode. Which, the only thing I can tell for a difference is that slow mode, you look straight ahead. Fast mode, you kind of look down at a, at a bit of an angle. Alright, what, you know, I see that there's something going on over here, but what about, welcome to Cold Harbor Bay. Parking charges. It's just a sign. Well, I can see that. Listen, I'm going to be very honest with all of you right now. There is a burp living inside of me. And it's kind of painful. If it chooses to come out of me, it's going to. I, I need to. So, full disclosure. Let's enter the crime scene. Back in 1968, you could do that if you were a civilian. I don't know if I'm a civilian. I'm probably a cop. But you could just do it anyway. Just so you know. Talk to him! Talk to him! 
Just him. No name. Him. Officer. Him. Oh, hey. oh Officer Tony. You're new, right? Uh, I don't know. Maybe you're new. Maybe that's why you don't recognize me. Yes. Yeah, it's the first crime scene I've been at. Other than that, it's just parking tickets. Oh. Parking tickets. Well then. Oh, he's talking. I don't have to talk for him. That means you and I will be crime scene partners for God knows how long. Until one of us cracks this case and gets a promotion. Oh, cool. Anyways, you arrived just in time. <laughs> for what? He's dead already. This was one weird ass crime scene. I mean, it's pretty standard looking to me, unless there's something I haven't seen yet. When the victim's body was rolled over, it revealed this strange symbol. Okay, that is strange for the 60s. I haven't seen anything like it before. I think it could mean something. It, what's the symbol? I'll get my camera from the car. Okay. A photo of this. Yes. Actually, that's very accurate. You are, uh, you are very smart, Tony, because we should actually take... Cr Photos of all of parts of the crime scene, not just the body. Like, anything nearby. Uh, am I... Nine Cruiser. It's the Nine Cruiser. Oh, I thought it was in the trunk. Right-click for camera mode. Beautiful. Just had to test it. Everything works. Everything checks out. I can use a camera. Just as good as anybody. Uh, one more, buddy. One more for the record book. Get me a real good thinking picture. Yep. Oh, it came out of me. And it wasn't even a loud burp. Alright, so this is our body. Oh, shit! Can we can we zoom? We need to get out of camera mode. We need to be a little further back. I see now. Tis a crow. Raven? Murder begins where self-defense ends. Unless it was just murder. Killer leaves crow trademark. Oh, they put my picture in the paper! Yeah! That's like the whole ass opening, dude. There are games on Ichio, 1969. Still, they still haven't gotten that color thing fixed out yet. They haven't figured out how to do color in real life 1974 oh geez oh it just keeps going i wasn't looking it just keeps happening we haven't caught him oh it's been a lot it's been 10 years 11 years 12 years it's this kill 13 13 is that's where we're stopping 13 13 years and we haven't caught him wow this is a weird police board it's just a couple of newspapers and uh and a picture of a crow. Maybe the crow did it. Raven! It's a, was it crow or raven? I wasn't paying attention. Jesus, I'm a mess. Oh, they got the color fixed! 1981. You see what I said? He left his home in 1968. Okay. He, he's British. Roger that! I'm not. It's my car. Yeah, cool. 19, 1981. They, I should get in my car. Oh, I didn't know. Okay, I'll do that. Sorry. What the hell was I doing? What was I just doing? Did I leave my... Was this my home that I've left? Just hanging out outside my car. Oh, I don't want to drive. Um, I... Wow. Oh... It's a little clunky. It's a little clunky. Um, wow. Look at this. This is well done. Oh my god. I don't know when this came out. Very well done, though. It's got, like, full-ass game mechanics here. I was about to say I don't want to drive because I feel like it's going to be clunky, but... So far, we're good. Uh, nope. That's... I'm just... It's okay, I'm a cop. I can drive however erratically I'd like. It's fine. There's no one on the streets tonight anyway. There's got to be a cross street eventually. Or not. It's just one long road. You know? Back before towns figured out that they could split the roads and have, like, cross streets and intersections. It was just... You just had the one main one through town, and that's where you lived. You just... That's what you had. 
Weird that it's not in the suburbs, though. It's just all apartments. Must be a bitch if you're an emergency service vehicle trying to get to a... to a, an emergency as such. Park here! Ugh. Oh, I mean, how well do I have to park? Good enough. It's good enough. I'm a cop. I can do what I want. It's, it's an investigation. It's official. You don't have to worry about how I put my car and where I put it. And Hold on now. It's important. We're looking for clues. You see this? You see this? It's all... It's all a jumble. It's all just bad. No one's... No one trusts anybody here. All the windows are boarded up. It's rough. It's a bad time. Alright, we're inside. Enter room 311. Uh, but what about here? What if there are clues? Employees only. I'm a cop. That's like the ultimate employee. I'm employed everywhere. We want this floor. Floor 3. It's a boring ass elevator. Where's the emergency stop button? This elevator is not up to code. There's no phone. There's no emergency stop. There's no hatch. This is an accident waiting to happen. It's this way. I feel it in my butt. See, I am so good at numbers. I am so good at... Hi! I remember Tony! God, he hasn't aged a day. We have a little crime scene situation in here. What is the guy in the back doing? He's Look at that hat and that face. How did the neighbor one floor below notice something, but not the neighbors on the other... There's literally... 310, what are you doing? Whatever. That makes sense. I just need you to go down there and try to get as much information as possible from the lady. Okay, but what about this weirdo in the back? back here afterwards, and we'll leave you alone to photograph some evidence. Okay, so I'm basically just that the cop. is a bitch. Just saying, bro. You're not helping, Carlos. Okay, maybe you're a bitch. Maybe you're a bitch, and she's just fine. It's all about perspective, isn't it, my friend? So in in. What was it? 1968 was when I took the first picture of the crow killer. Crow? Raven, help me! One day I'm gonna get it right. How long does it take us to go down one floor? In 1968, I took a picture of the crime scene. And then 12 years later, we're still taking orders from Tony. We're just doing what he says and taking pictures. We have not done our job well if 12 years later we are in the same exact spot. Probably because we haven't caught this damn killer. <laughs> Margaret! I'm with the police. I am the police. Not just with them. I am them. I'm a portion. I just have some questions for you, if that's all right. No, you just say I have some questions for you. You don't... We don't need to ask her permission. Margaret, open the door! Make it quick! I love Margaret already. That's it. Make it quick! You can get back to that. That's not a very long process at all, I think. Margaret, what are you doing in here? So what happened, Margaret? Oh, God. Do you know what happened? Harpened. I threw an R in there. Do you know what happened in room 311 while you were cutting your toenails? Great. It was a domestic dispute. Case closed. Let's go. Okay. Why? What? Whoa, whoa. She, he was stabbed because he wanted to break up, and he deserves it? Why? I, if, if he wanted to break up, maybe it has something to do with the fact that she had tendencies of stabbing. I'm not taking sides here. I'm just saying if someone's prone to stabbing behavior, maybe the relationship shouldn't have been there. That See, this is not helpful to me. <laughs> Said, she swears. Her ears are too delicate for heavy metal, but she swears. Uh, do you know anything about the girl? Did you know this man? How old was he? Do I care? Do you know anything about the girl? I want to know about the stabber. Do you know anything about the girl? Great, Margaret. 
Great, Margaret. That doesn't help me at all. Did you identify the ass walking down the hallway when she left? Is that how you know it was her? How do you know it was her? Did you know this man? Oh, I sure did. Oh, I sure did. Biblically? I found him smoking. You don't... Okay. How old was your grandson? You don't look like you're old enough to have an older grandson. You are old. Okay, well, we have several violent people in this apartment building. How old was he? Because he's not going to get any older. So young. How many 87-year-olds have you been around, Margaret? All right, that's all the questions I have for you. Thank you. All right. I hope you I go I hope you get an ingrown toenail, Margaret. That's what I hope for you. That's all. Okay. She was surprisingly forthcoming, honestly. We could have we could have had worse. She was she told us enough. She told us enough. I don't know what that girlfriend's ass has to do with anything, but hey. You know. We're just here doing our job. Crime scenes scare me sometimes. This is why we haven't gotten a promotion. Because we don't have the guts to take... The, all we can do is take the pictures. we got to look at it through the lens. Why do crime scenes scare us? Photograph evidence. Uh, look at it. Can I open this? I need... Oh. Wow. Again, very sparse. Toilet has not been flushed. It's got pee-pee in it. What about in here? What about in here? Did they flush the bathtub? Water's been sitting here for a while. Okay. Let's take into account. Big head. What is that? Is that a face? Can I get taller? We're going to need a real close-up of this one. I wish I had like a zoom. All right, well. Murderer's mask. I was going to say, there's no way that's somebody's actual face. That thing's huge. We got a perspective thing going on in here. So at least this place has some art. Maybe we should be looking for devil's lettuce. The old tweed. We got a big old handprint here. God, I hope this shows up clearly on camera. Eh, good thing we have a flash. Victim's bloody handprint. Where's the victim? Okay, wait, 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 wait. So we got a mask in the sink in the living room with blood on it. Or in the kit, kit not bathroom. Fuck! Bathroom! In the bathroom! Uh, we have a bloody mask in the bathroom and one bloody handprint in the bedroom. But where's the man, man? Where's the puddle? Where's where's the rest? It's a big knife. Everything's big. Murder is supersized here in this city. All right, got my evidence. Tony, I'm leaving. I talked to Margaret. She said weed. Thanks for the help. Yeah, I whatever. Can report what you found involving this crime at another time. What do you mean? It's not that big of a priority right now. I think it's kind of a priority. It's murder. Go home and get some rest, my man. Okay. You deserve it. My man. This is a game you play all of I I read on the page that you're on the itch.io page for this. It's, it's a longer style game. Um, and you're supposed to play it all in one sitting. So I guess we're going to do that. We're going to see if we can get it done all in one sitting. Maybe. I don't know. I guess I could break it up. I don't have to do it all in one sitting. I can do it in several sittings. Settings. But I don't think you're allowed to, I think what it's saying is that there's no save. All right, well. Go home. We did it. We're really earning our paycheck here. Ah, it drives itself home. Until now. Hello? Oh, it drives itself home up to a point, and then I have to do it. Bird! That bird's following me. It's the bird. So what, 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 what? Okay, we're going to try and do a little better parking. Really cut it hard. Oh, yeah. Park. That's fine. This officer... Just did bad at the parking segment of, of the Academy. That's all. So, where's my family? Let's see them. Let's see what they look like now. My son should be grown up. It's been 12 years, and he didn't exist. If he was 12 when... I'm aging, guessing here, but... If he was 12 when he, he was little, then he'd be 24 at least. Ooh. 
dark in here. Man. Not a lot has changed in 12 years. What's going on? I hear music. Should we check other parts of the house? Kevin's room. Better. No, I'm not ready. Office. Office! I say. Fridge. Okay, bedroom it is. Why would we be leaving the music on like that? Ma'am, I think we've been divorced. Have we been divorced? No. I miss sleeping next to her. Oh shit, we are divorced. Uh, where is she? No TV in here, huh? No clothes. Guess we just leave it all at work. You know, it's cool that I can open these drawers, but it'd be cooler. Can I drink these? It'd be cooler if I could, uh, like, there was something in them. Alright, time for bed. We're not even gonna get... We don't have pajamas, so we can't put them on. Oh, we're going back in time now. To before 1968. 1963. Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead... We're going to chunk this up. Instead of one long recording, we're going to chunk this up into little pieces. So this is going to be our first piece of the puzzle of the... What the hell is this called? The final pin. The final pin. So, we've got a killer, and we've got several years in between our detective's start and where he is now. But we will find out more next episode. So, thank you for coming back to One Room Over Gaming. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And until next time, you guys know where I will be. I will be right here, One Room Over, playing games for you guys. All right, take care. I will see you next time. Take care of yourselves. Bye, everyone. <laughs>